All right, Cutworm requested I do a walk around on the Firebird, so here goes. Had to put a quarter panel on it. Those are old ET mags. I really like those wheels. Wish I could find some center caps. It's got a two and a half inch exhaust. I've got well done subframe connectors in it, which help it out quite a little. Seems like there's something sharp in the grass there. It's a four speed. I think I took that dash out of a 78 Trans Am. The back seat. Not very big, is it? It's got a formula hood on it. It's a good looking front end. It's got the inch and an eighth Trans Am sway bar in the front, the Trans Am sway bar in the back. I put Hotchkiss springs in the front. And uh, I can't remember what the brand is in the back, but new leaf springs. And I don't know if you can see it there, but. Mrs. Heavy Chevy painted me something special there. Most people never notice that. I'll get the hood open. Oh yeah, I got a CB in it. Just for, just for the heck of it. Let me see if I can get the hood open. All right, got the hood open. I don't have the formula air cleaner and all, but that's all right. This is one of my harebrained ideas for a water injection at full throttle. I, I think it'll work. I just need to sort it out a little bit more. But I do have this rigged up. It works at uh, light throttle and it helps uh, reduce detonation. That does work. It's got uh, Ram Air 3 heads on it. I think they're 12s if I remember right. I got a vintage air kit on it so the AC works. I ain't overly impressed with that it's set up, but it works. And it's got Mallory ignition, Mallory distributor, headers. The old girl runs pretty good. Well, there you go, cutworm. Hope you enjoyed it. Forgot to show you the trunk. I had to put a new trunk floor in it. Here's my little tool kit just in case. Comes in handy every once in a while. And Cutworm asked me to tell a story about this car. This car I bought from a guy I think two years ago that uh, his dad fixed it up for him when he was in high school. And they spent a bunch of money on it. They did kind of poor body work but Spent a lot of money on it. Rechromed the bumper and a bunch of stuff. And then, of course, the kid uh, got out of college and got married and it just sat in the backyard. So I bought it from him. It wasn't very far from my house. But the reason I have this car is I had a 71 that I had fixed up in the backyard before I built my shop there. I used the carport in the backyard. It was a pretty nice car. It had that engine in it and this transmission. I was driving to church one morning, waiting to turn left in the church parking lot and some woman driving a van, wearing pajamas, and no driver's license, hit me at 55, and I lost that one. So I waited, hunted about three years, and finally found this car, and I put the, put the two together. This one turned out a lot, a lot nicer than the first one, I still had to lose it. But that's the story. That's it for now. See ya.